As you can see, it's a guest on the loading screen. Master Muriel is taking a stroll in the loading screen. He's just he's just chilling. And also, uh, I give myself a staff, and I'm also on fire. It's to show how excited I am. This is a fire stream. <laughs> well, Lucas is at least. Hell yeah. And again, to reiterate, after the stream, I am planning to have a pause on Returner mode. Um, I am not completely stopping Returner mode, and I might still have to stream Returner mode once in a while, but at least I don't think there's any events where I feel like, oh, I need to do this on stream that I want to do anytime soon. Yeah, sure, there are things like some revenge stuff, or things like Puffsley, or or whatever, but I don't really feel like I don't need to do that yet, and I'm not like particularly super interested in them. But this will be basically quote unquote the last returner mode for a while. Uh, last stream I did do in uh, Heavenly Tower a little bit, right up until floor 46, and then I stopped. And I said I want to do floor 47, 48 uh, on a stream, and then 49 and 50 for another stream. But then I decided to just do all of them at once. But um, my paranoia got me. If I want to make sure everything works. And the one thing that I want to make sure something works is that I want to have floor 50 on stream. So basically, basically, I I, I did all of the other floors on off stream. <laughs> so I did some mining off camera. I'm because I I'm I'm just not sure if I'm able to beat all of these four on uh on stream at once. I was like, what if I get stuck on the stage? Um, what if I'm going to take like hours on the stage? And if that's going to happen, I don't want to split floor 50 for another stream. And then what if I'm not able to stream on Friday? Because if that's the case, then I would have to do floor 50 off stream, which is really lame. Uh, just do it again. Actually, that is the plan. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch me do floor 48. Okay, I'll save you the trouble. <laughs> take a guess how many attempts I took on floor 47 and how many Ubers do I use and what Ubers do you predict? Someone have to answer 69, of course. One five seven attempts two ubers that's a pretty good guess one uber research combo uh pretty good guess actually okay so technically technically i got a winning run within two tries but i didn't record it the clear counter there says one but actually i've cleared this twice and i was actually able to do it on the next two tries again at the first time i used jagando but then i decided okay you know what i'm going to take jagando for someone else and then someone else is nobi luga <laughs> So yes, there's two Ubers. One is a research combo, and the other is Nobi Luga. Nobi Luga sweep! Nobi usage! My game plan here is outdoing the peons. This is what I'm trying to do. There we go! Taki actually missed Nobi Luga, which I find really funny. <laughs> The one that ended up killing Nobi Luga is Puffsley. That really just shows like how massive Taki's LD is. Like, I think you did the final blow, right? And one more? What? There we go. He actually killed. He actually killed Puffsley. <laughs> Wait, did you also kill Maneko? I not sure. Oh yeah, you actually killed Maneko as well. That's so funny. Stomp. Floor forty-eight. Oh man, mind the bitrate on this one. <laughs> Look at that crunchy bitrate. Oh my god. You can see the pixels on all of the units. I stacked like four Windies and I stacked like three Chaos Moons or some shit like that. So that's 48. 49 is probably the other one that's uh, kind of troublesome. This is one of the stages that causes me paranoia. And for a good reason, this stage probably took me the most tries out of 47, 48, 49. I mean, 48 took me one try. 49 took me a while to set up on what lineup I want to use on what strategy or what I want to use. Because I don't have Super Cat. I don't have Dogumaru, so there was a lot of problems here and there. Yeah, it is actually pretty hard with a Dogumaru. Initially, this is the lineup that I tried to go in with. I tried to use Mercia, and I also used Nobiluga, because Nobiluga has a uh, really big range, wave immunity, and stuff like that, yada yada yada. It's basically one of the only functioning Ubers that I have. And then I noticed something when I'm trying to use Rock. You see Vendor dying there? Vendor dies super fast because Rock feeds wave. And I was like, oh fuck, this is gonna be problematic. Rock makes wave a lot. Stuff that isn't wave immune can die really quickly, and you really are dependent with Octo and stuff like that. Think of Mercy, do you think her talents make her any better? I think her dodge talent will definitely help a lot, but it's an uber talent, which means that it's going to cost 
a shit ton amount of NP. Uh, I did do a couple of runs with it, and I was able to last for a while on this run. But alas, I've been... I'm just basically like Omega dying. Then I remembered there was that one video where you use rock forever, but that pretty much requires precise input for like hours on end, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. Uh, the one where you use a bunch of research combo and rock. So I took on Vendor, I brought in more research combo, and I bring in Cyberpunk and Nobiluga. And I also put in Sniper Cat because, uh, you know, I won't be able to use Vendor. So yeah, the plan is to cyber stack. <laughs> and then there's also Nobiluga with the help of the constant damage, basically. So that's the plan, essentially. You can see there, I managed to stack like two Cyberpunks. Eventually, I think one of the Octos... Yeah, I think there's a one part where my Octos kind of slipped and my Cyberpunk dies, unfortunately. And it's just really, really slowly chipping the enemies until Yulala dies. And then finally, I can push uh, her into the base and win the stage. Yeah, Nobiluga has been the carry for 47 and 49, which is pretty fucking hilarious. So, back to the tower. What else has happened off stream? Oh, I did true form a couple of stuff. I true form slapsticks, uh, and I actually true form slapstick before I beat any growing strange stages. <laughs> I got an elder fruit from one of the stage, and I just true form slapsticks. The other one that I true form is Vars. I haven't really planned to use him yet, but I think I will try to plan to use him in on Infernal 424. 424 is an absolute pain in the ass last time, and I don't want to risk it again. Another one that I want to use for 424 is Gas Mask. I have tried Gas Mask a little bit, and I do kind of like him have being arranged, mainly because like his rage actually allows him to not get hit by like some other enemies that is not his typing. This is mainly on the douche, but we'll see. So, 450. Oh boy, here we are. I did mention Vars earlier, right? Do you think I can use that for 450? Either way, I'm still going to bring Vars anyways. For one good reason, Vars has a slow M combo. <laughs> Which is going to be useful for uh, Cyberpunk. No, I don't want to cheese it. I don't want cheese as my first clear. That's so lame. That's so boring. Imagine cheesing on your first clear when you can completely do the stage normally. My Cyberpunk slow is level 5. Technically, I could level it up, but would it be more fun if I don't? I believe, yeah. I believe it is currently 3 seconds slow instead of 4. Uh, also, I don't have I don't have Sniper, if you're wondering. Sweet Bros. I don't have Sweet Bros. I don't have a bunch of anti trade lists, really. <laughs> I also don't have bear, which means that I'm not able to do like the initial rushdown or something like that. I'm actually curious, does Mask Grandmaster work? Because he has he has quite a lot of health. Oh, the dollars are at 69%. Nice. Pizza would be really nice. Or I can bring Liberty. Liberty wouldn't be a bad choice either. Can can no can can is really unsafe on Uriel. Liberty is my main choice right now. I honestly I'm really curious on what Mask Herbert can do. Cause he can outrange Uriel. He has quite a tanky health. Um his cooldown is really short. His wave can reach to a lot of Sorrels and stuff like that. I, okay, Liberty is a tried and true testing, so I'm going to bring Liberty for now, uh, but I still, I'm still curious about what Hermit can do. Okay, that seems about right. Uh, it's time to do this. Should I put on a special music for this? Hold on. You know how Heavenly Tower is basically just a whole ass Dragon Ball reference? This is GD Goku's team from Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> Let's go! Fuck, how do I even start this stage? I already forgot. I've been I haven't played the stage in god knows how long. Do I immediately crystal? So that I'm able to stack Cyberpunk more? Or do I go in for the kill immediately? Fuck, I don't know. One second and I'm already choking. Look, man, I haven't played the stage in so long, and I haven't like I haven't looked at the stage in a long while too. Oh boy, it's time to cyber stack. There's Sorel. I think there's Sorel coming in like almost immediately, if I'm not mistaken. Does this hit? Oh it does, very nice. Okay, that's about what I wanted. Good. 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 Very nice. More or less what I wanted. Let's put Jugando in, just cuz. Let's put turn on Sniper. Oh boy, here comes another Sorel. Oh, fuck! No, that's bad. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> that was such a bad interaction. Oh well, unfortunate. Alright, moving on, next run. I was gonna retry the stage, honestly. That's about pretty much just what I expected is going to happen. Uh, let's try again. My gosh, this slow actually does not last for a while at all. Can Slapstick tank an Oriole hit at all? It can't? Okay, I'd imagine so, I guess. If I have Super Cat, it might be able to tank a hit, but I don't, so... Rock isn't really doing much currently, huh? I don't think Vendor's gonna make it in time. 
Yeah, but I didn't make it in time. That's unfortunate. Rock isn't really doing much, so I might as well swap it for something else, maybe? Damn it, Chikando keeps on missing. Uh, I don't have anything to knock back. Oh! Sniper? <laughs> Hello? Wow! That's perfect! Holy shit! Did you guys see that? <laughs> That's also perfect! Oh my god! That's a very perfect interaction, holy shit. Ooh, that's so clutch. Holy shit, how am I still alive with only one cyberpunk? This is actually kind of crazy. Oh boy, this is where this is where hell starts to break loose. No! Oh my god! Did I spawn it too fast? I spawned it way too fast. I'm so stupid. That was a pretty good run for having only one cyberpunk for most of the run. 39%. Not bad. Not bad. I wasn't really able to spawn Gigando much because of money problems, I feel like. Liberty is a meme unit? No, he's fucking not. Excuse me? You see that? Sweet, sweet 23k damage? This shit ain't a meme. This shit is strong. This shit is omega strong. And he also has one knockback, which means that he won't get interrupted. That's one of the things that I noticed with some other mid-ranger choices that you can use. Some other mid-ranger choice that you can use sometimes just gets, like, juggled by the enemy. However, Liberty only has one knockback count, which means that it can't get juggled. Maybe you can bring Slime. Slime is extremely risky. It basically needs a support to even land a hit at the first place. Even if it hits, it's going to trigger a search. Okay, you know what? I really want to try. I really want to see what happens with Grandmaster, because I don't think I've seen anyone use Grandmaster in this stage ever, which, you know, understandable to be fair, but I, I'm, I'm just curious what will happen but i might not have money for it oh fuck everything still comes down to money huh uh currently the ones in chopping block i think it's jagando and rock this race is still pretty good though yeah but the problem is his cost he's super expensive to spawn okay okay no what? are you kidding me sniper what the fuck are you kidding me what the fuck was that that was the worst that was the worst uh oh oh this girl's gonna be the death of me uh, panic last. Ah, oh, damn it. That didn't save him. Oh, that's. I did not expect that to be frame perfect. Fuck you. Are you. Sniper, please. Oh, we're actually getting lower. You guys are way more stressed about this than I am. I mean, I like, understandable, but. <laughs> I'm having fun here. <laughs> Just so you know, I die on the stage a lot. I'm going to give Hermit Cat a shot. What have I to lose? Nothing. The only ones that, the only ones that are losing are the believers, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, or uh, uh, Hermit, Jesus. Glass is still taking a while to be off cooldown, Gigando is dead, and I don't have anything to knock you back. Uh, oh well, the run was pretty much dead from the start, but right as uh, I ran out of money when I don't have money to spawn... Ah, to protect Cyberpunk. But the numbers are lowing. <sighs> is Courier really? It? And Courier has LD, that's, that's what I don't like. Let's just give it a shot. Courier! <laughs> Courier, oh, uh, well, almost. Maybe this isn't exactly the best idea. Sniper, I forgot to turn you off. Uh oh. No! Oh my god, the glass cat! Oh my god. One mistake is all you need to just completely ruin this goddamn run. God damn, that was a pretty damn good run, though. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. 6%? Holy shit. That was a really good run. Cyber slow level 6. I'm going cyber slow to 7. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Every time I lose, I upgrade Cyberpunk slow by 1. <laughs> Every time I lose, I'll upgrade it by 1. <laughs> Cyberpunk has become barren, grows stronger upon every defeat. Yeah, it really is. Every time he beats me, the Cyberpunk just gets stronger. Can you play 450 music, please? I have the chiptune rendition that Sarat made. By the way, Sarat is a cool guy. You should check his stuff out. Can't believe he's already two years old. Yeah! Oh! You gotta be fucking joking me! What is that?! Uh, what? Sniper, what the hell? Whoa, is this savable? What the fuck? Whoa, that's perfect. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Very good interaction. Well, now Magos gonna kill everyone, unfortunately. What the hell is this run? This run is the craziest run. Sniper, come on. Oh! <laughs> 
What the hell is going on in this run? Oh boy. Yeah, okay, Cyber's dead. Oh my god! 18%, not bad. What? Sniper? Who was that? I, the blogger, come on! Blogger, please. That was the deadliest blogger I've ever seen. Cyber is still gonna be taking a while. I'm pretty sure this run is mega dead. Oh, come on! I even throw in a bullet train just in case. Well, this won't stall for long. Woo, I am so good at sniping. What the hell was that? This is also quite a wild run. I should have been dead like five minutes ago. Uh, that's pretty low, honestly, for such a terrible, terrible run. It's time for level 8 Cyberpunk now. Oh, I turned on Sniper thinking, it's like, oh, there's no way he's gonna, like, attack in the next, like, one millisecond. No, he attacks in the next one millisecond. Hey. I should not trust Sniper with my life. Wait, the desync? The desync from the Cyber? And, of course, Terrell coming in at the worst possible timing. Oh, but Jagando with the safe! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Fucking hell! Come on! What are those Terrells? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Ah, oh, that sucks! That's so funny, though! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That was a good run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the Sorrels. <laughs> Level 9, let's go! Another thing that I could sort of try out is Bahama Chain in the beginning, because Bahama Chain in the beginning does cut off like quite a decent amount of health off of Oriel, but I don't know who to take out. If I'm going to take out anything, it's probably Jagando. That's also really risky. Or, or Maglev. Ah, uh, but I need to level my Awakened Bahamut, and I kind of want to let my Bahamut at 30 so that I'm able to test stuff out. <sighs> Even in Returner mode, I still want my Wicked Bahamut to be level 30. <laughs> well, this is pretty much the final episode anyways. I guess, I guess, I guess I'll upgrade him. I guess I'll upgrade Bahamut. I don't really like to do this. I'm not gonna be used at level 40 Bahamut, but guess I'm upgrading Bahamut. God, this team is so needy on cash. He's boosting to the moment he has given in to the madness. I mean, to be fair, Returner mode is supposed to be a save file that I want to use where I can freely boost, but that, that still doesn't happen until now. <laughs> This is supposed to be a separate file where, where I shouldn't be worrying about boost. But I'm still worrying about boost. Now I see what you did 47, 48, 49 off stream. Yeah, because I'm worried something like this something like this would happen to the other floors. Which, to be honest, like 49 took it took a couple of hours as well. If I didn't do 49 off stream, even like up until now I might still be doing 49. Ah uh Oh my god. Okay. That was a lot of mistakes. You know what? I'm not counting that run. <laughs> I feel like that, that run was just too bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm scamming you. I'm the rule now. I make the rules here. And the rule is that I'm scamming you. <laughs> it's fine. You're a believer. Of course you'll say it's fine. Local streamer scams his champ for virtual money. Scammer streamer exposed on the internet. What a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was also not what I wanted, but sure. Are those synced up? Oh my god. Cyber. Cyber. Oh god, the surge. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. This is what happens if you don't have Sniper Deadeye. Jugando's such a cash cow. Like, Jugando was doing well. But if I have a better, cheaper alternative, I would have taken it. I still have a couple of cat size left. Oh man. Oh, that's a lot of cat size being spent. <laughs> Resistors. <laughs> why, is this, why is that there? Honestly. Change music? I could change music again. It's time for Robbie Reby music. There we go. RFN. Now, now's our chance. Will this the music that'll lead us to victory? I want to try to immediately Bahama Chain right off the bat. Will Sorel be on the way? No, there's a second blogger too. The second blogger might block the way.
Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. It's not that much, but it's a decent amount of damage. Uh, come on! No, come on! Oh, come on! Uh, that's not even like the sniper's fault or anything, it's literally just damage. Oh my gosh, the Sorel! Such a shitty ass Sorel. Uh, really did not have any money whatsoever. And Jagando was kind of eating shit earlier. I'm still really not sure about Jagando. Honestly, considering Manic Legs, because it's cheap, it's an extra damage, it's basically inconsequential. It has range. Might even tank a hit if it's possible, even. But if not, my other choices would be like Seafarer or Pizza. Seafarer being the lessing damage, but also has Survive. Pizza has more damage, but it doesn't have Wave. I'm pretty sure Pizza can probably survive even like a couple of Oriel hits if it's even possible. Seafarer might even survive a couple of hits as well, actually, especially with the Survive. Having a third attacker would already kind of count like a meat shield by itself. Both Seafarer and Pizza have really good survivability. I wouldn't be surprised if both Seafarer and Pizza would be able to get knock they would be able to utilize all of their knockbacks. Especially with Seafarer with the survive lethal. Pizza has rebound, which is really helpful against like Sorel so there's chasing it. And it's also currently at a way higher level as well. The other choice I have is Manic Legs, which is definitely the least damaging out of them all, but it's also the most cost efficient and is able to clear off bloggers efficiently and is just all around reliable in terms of extra damage. Which is definitely good for Sorrels that passes through, but can be problematic if Oriel triggers a hit. And the problem is that every time Oriel triggers a hit and there's a one Sorrel coming in, that's where all the run starts to die down. It might be better to just bank in to not have bullet train and hope that no Sorel ever pass through, but that's such a that's such a hopeful thing. Maybe I should bring manic legs and pizza. All right, points. Sorry, I'm in kind of in sweaty mode, kind of a kind of in a sweaty mindset right now. I guess we can try banking in on pizza and legs. Legs to kill blogger, yeah, because there are times where tourist just hits blogger or some shit, and I feel like manic macho legs could help a little bit on that. And manic macho legs actually tanks a hit from Oriel. Reduce the slow combo for more cats, but which slow combo? I can take out puppet master, but like that's a one slot combo. Vars won't be needed, but versus M. Like, slow M is pretty big. That would only work if I use Rock Cat, I think. It's definitely was harder than what you originally thought it would be like. No! <laughs> I'm aware of this stage being really ass. I'm aware. I've played this stage a lot. A lot, lot. Okay, I'm putting BT in. <sighs> okay. Let's go! Alright! Uh, I'm on fire! Uh, I guess we're doing the usual start off then. Crystal Oriole, Lord of Blogger, Cyber Stack. Once they're on the base. Uh, wait, what is going on if there's on the base? No gamble? No. Uh, I'm on sweaty mode. Ah, I said I'm on- You guys keep on crying for gamble, I missed, I missed that sniper. I blame that on you guys. I already failed because I was looking at chat. <laughs> shouldn't have been looking at chat that much. Don't think I want to go too far, actually. Maybe I shouldn't be pushing too far. Maybe you should keep the fight near my base for now. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that actually didn't really cost us, surprisingly, that Sniper. Sniper has been working really well with us, that I actually been forgetting to turn off Sniper once in a while. <laughs> Ooh, the knockback! Back to Cyber's range! Nice, the snipe from Cyber. Three Cyberpunks are on Oriel's range. He's fucking dead! Let's go. We did it. We did it. <sighs> that took way longer than it should have. I, I, yeah, pizza, I think, was actually the key. Uh, a lot of the times, all of our deaths, all of our deaths so far, has been Oriel search, one Sorel coming in and ruins everything. And since both pizza and Manic Macho Legs actually survives a hit from Oriel or from Oriel search, that adds an extra layer of defense that is just really, really, really helpful. Oh, you know, the crazy part is, in the end, in the end, none of the believers win. <laughs> 
What an ending to Heavenly Tower, where for once, believers did not win once. <laughs> <laughs> they really didn't. <laughs> uh, and finally, it's time to claim our reward. Master Uriel. Now your return account is more superior than Chauzy. I think Chauzy did like a couple of like UL, right? If I'm mistaken. Oh, uh, there we go. Master Uriel, you're a pain in the ass to get, you know? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm actually running out of XP. This is the first time I've seen my XP going down uh, under 10 million in a long time. Matt Shea? I think Matt Shea's on Dogumaru, right? Matt Shea's on Dogumaru. He's actually advancing quite far. But to be fair, Dogumaru isn't insanely far, so I can still, like, rush in and try to get Dogumaru. <laughs> Ooh, that's Oril. Jesus Christ. That, yeah, that really took, like, three hours. I guess we can do floor 47 for now, for an ending. Matt Shea has the power of money. I think also another thing is that they also technically have been playing for a really, really, really long time. It's like, even if they don't spend money on the game, they would naturally have just more boost in everything in general, which I get. I, I understand uh, from the point of view of a content creator that like have to find a schedule to record or to stream on a specific date to actually advance on my save file. Because it's easy to advance when you can like not really care about the time of the day on whether you can stream or record. You can advance way quicker so yeah for a finale let's do floor 47 <laughs> as i have already said before many many times uh this is not the end of returner mode it's just me marking the time where i can take my focus off of returner mode for just at least a little bit so for now i don't really have exact plans on what game i want to do exactly slime no <laughs> you're up Boosh. Ah, okay. <laughs> you tried, Nobi. This Albro is so damn tanky, holy shit. Uh, yeah. New Stash is definitely going to be one of the games that I'm going to uh, play a decent amount of. It's like every time I stream, I have to go and think, oh, I gotta make, I gotta make a highlight out of this. Which is the case for literally every Eternal mode. I was thinking it would be nice if I just have streams that aren't like that. Ooh, ooh, that's perfect Brawlos, Jesus. Oh no, he's on the base already? Why is Tacky's range so stupid? <laughs> no! Slime! Oh god. <laughs> Tacky's already on the base? What the fuck? Why is this guy's range so stupid? Okay. <laughs> Luna Knights, right! And Cuphead DLC, that's also a thing, yeah. But I, I actually, do I even have Cuphead? <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't think I even have Cuphead on Steam. I might I might need to download Cuphead. Uh Gada Rob uh Gada Roboto, I think? It's also another one that I wanna try. Gada Roboto literally translate to cat machine. <laughs> Which is a Metroidvania apparently. Oh that's perfect. Or maybe never mind, that's not perfect. Base is still unskated. Very good. Okay. Okay, Nobi Luga is time. <laughs> oh very nice, Nobi Luga, thank you very much. What the fuck hit me? God damn it. I don't know why I was able to do 447 in like two tries earlier. But now, whenever I'm on stream, I just fell apart. <laughs> Another funny thing about this level, 447's, 447's Brolo gets one-shotted by level 47 Slime. <laughs> oh my god, Slime missed? You little shit. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! This tacky's still not dead! What the fuck? Why is this tacky so tanky? Holy shit! My god, this fucking tacky, dude. <laughs> this is a well-made stage? Honestly, yeah, it is. It's a pretty fun stage. It's definitely probably one of the best uh, tower stage for now. Oh, really? Come on! Ugh. <laughs> wow, how am I doing so badly today? <laughs> what the fuck? That snipe is so long! Tacky's animation looks so janky, I swear. Ooh, that's perfect! Very good! Oh god, he's on the base too. Oh, good, 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 good lord, that's so scary. Push it back, push it back again. Oh my gosh, he's on the base, are you kidding me? Oh, Techie's dead, okay, okay, I think we are safe. 
Probably. Oh no, no Beluga! <laughs> ah, there we go. Ah, uh, damn it. We could have had Nobi to finish the job off too. That would have been funny. That Taki really did like 30,000 damage. I kind of forgot if I did. Oh my gosh, Rock killed Moneko. <laughs> there we go, GG. We got four, we got 50 down, we got 47 down. All right, that's that's the end of Returner mode, I guess. I guess you can say it's like the end of Returner mode season one or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> this is the season one of Returner mode. Season two, it's come, going back with plot twist and drama bloodshed units that are banned and unbanned uh units that are in love with each other romance npr and shit like that we got mystic oriel we beat 447 ilola has so much good potential for true form i really wish they don't fuck this one up currently like oriel is already really really good so it's not like he needs a true form anytime soon there's something i guess one of the main concerns that i have right now is that if you know 11.7 has detroyar's true form and it looks so so good i fear if he gets too good it's like should i should i ban him now because he gets too good now <laughs> you know what detroyar true form means we got a new fat ass that is true that is true we do get a new fat ass there it is there's the fat he's here to accompany you he's just chilling you know you want to chill with me here we go He's chill- he's chilling with the fire as well. Thank you for watching Return Mode so far, it's been quite a journey. Uh, and yeah. It feels like it's the end, but it's really not, but it still has been quite a journey. <laughs> Alright, see ya!